Since February 9, 2023, our system ranks Google as a cell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.666. Over the next few days we will see how this evaluation performs. In our daily updates for Google our last headline reads, Evaluation of Google stock downgraded after the last trading session. The Google stock price fell by minus 4.54% on the last day, Thursday, February 9, 2023, from $100 to $95.46. It has now fallen three days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 7.19% from a day low at $93.86 to a day high of $100.61. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 3.73% loss for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 24 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 97 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $9.30 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $144.16, and the lowest price was $83.45. Right now the price is 33.78%, or $48.70, below 52-week high and 96.22%, or $2,431.53, below all-time high June 11, 2021 where the price hit $2,526.99. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and weak rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 2.26% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 6.16% and 16.76%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 29.72% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 47.40% and minus 20.57%. This equals a price between $50.21 and $75.82 and and after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Friday, February 3, 2023 Piper Sandler set price target to 120. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Raymond James set price target to 119. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Oppenheimer set price target to 155. On Friday, February 3, 2023 JP Morgan set price target to 118. On Thursday, January 26, 2023 Oppenheimer set price target to 130. From analysts Google stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Google. The Google stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the stock giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $103.20. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $94.65. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, February 2, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 12.26%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 6 days ago. Bollinger, 
by signal 13 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 17 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 16 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 9 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Google Google finds support from accumulated volume at $94 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $6.75 between high and low, or 7.19%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 4.87%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Google. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Google currently has a price earning ratio of 19.22. This is an relatively low price to earnings ratio and either signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued and could indicate a buying opportunity. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Google meets first resistance at $96.73. If you do not hold Google shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Google finds first level of support at $94 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Google is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On February 6, 2023 Ferguson Roger W. Jr. made an inside buy of 5,580 of Class C capital stock. On February 6, 2023 Ferguson Roger W. Jr. made an inside sell of 5,580 of Class C capital stock. On February 1, 2023 O'Toole Amy Thuiner made an inside sell of 637 of Class C capital stock. On January 25, 2023 Mather ANN made an inside sell of 340 of Class C capital stock. On January 25, 2023 O'Toole Amy Thuiner made an inside sell of 783 of Class C Google stock units. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of 0.457. In total, the insiders bought 3,520,456 and sold 3,561,466 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Google stock a buy? The Google stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Google will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Friday 10th we expect Google to open up $1.18 and start trading at $96.64. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to 